Hi, I'm Sebastian from Green Beans at Productions, and today we're taking a look at Life by Excellent Audio. I'm a bit late to the party, but they just released update 1.2 with some brand new features, so I thought it would be a good time to look at it. Now, if you like that kind of content, please click the like button and subscribe if you're new. As you can hear, life is a creativity enhancer. It will basically generate patterns or beat out of any audio. And the tool itself comes with the mobile phone app that allows you to record pretty much anything just using your phone. Of course, you can also use professional microphones. You can drag and drop samples into life, or you can even put the recorder plugin on your master output and record anything that is played inside of your DAW. So what you're hearing right now was me on my phone recording a small water bottle that I had and life can give you different patterns and beats really quickly. Let's listen to other ones. And you can tweak everything like sound variations. Patterns variations. The density. If you want less or more hits. Syncopation. And symmetry. Putting a higher value here will make the second half of the beat a bit more similar to the first half so that it's more usable in a musical context. And if you don't like it, you want more beats, you can add them there and you can click browse to browse different beats that it's already giving you. You have multiple pages of different beats. Or you can just click random and see what it will give you. You can also add a kick if you want. You have different kick options, but if you leave it at auto, it will give you the best option according to its algorithm. And in version 1.2, they added a dock feature. And you can manipulate the timing, the amount of ducking really easily and quickly. You can also sync it to your DAW tempo. If you like the beat that it generated, but you want to tweak the different sounds, if you go under the edit tab right here, you have a lot of options. You have your four stems and your overall kit with effects, with levels, pitch, reverb, delay, uh, length, tone, and more options over here. And you can obviously tweak all the different layers. You can change the different samples. So let's say I would like, instead of having this one, I'd like to have this one here. I can just drag it there instead. So it allows you per sample to control the volume, the pitch, the panning, the tone, the frequency, high cut and low cut, the envelope, and you can also send it to a specific output in your DAW so that all the hits are separated and you can mix it more naturally that way. You also have two different patterns. You can tweak the patterns by adding, removing hits, and you can decide if you want just A, B to play or A, 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 B by changing the last pattern, let's say with a fill. Of course, you can load audio files and video files from that menu, but you can also drag and drop them. So let me go into a folder where I have a file, this one, uh, let me just drag it, drop it from another screen. It will analyze it and ask you to pick a 15 second segment that it can analyze and turn into a pattern. So let's try that. Now let's go back into the explore tab and listen to what it, it's giving me. Now, if I don't like that again, I can hit the browse button and it generated so many different patterns, we can just listen to them.
Yep, that's cool. I like that. I can add some density if I want. And just like that, it made a percussive layer out of something random that I recorded in this case. I think I was just rubbing my fingers on plastic. And if, let's say, you want to export the WAV file or the MIDI, you just click on that export icon right there and you can choose the stems that you want to render and export at audio or you can even export the MIDI just by doing a drag and drop into your project. So just like that, now if I press play, the MIDI file is playing the sequence. I can do the same with the wave. I just have to click render and drag and drop it here inside of my DAW. And I have the audio file right there. It's super easy, super convenient. Um, but now let's look at what the mobile phone application looks like. I have my phone connected here to my PC so I can show you my phone screen. It's really easy and simple to use. You can import either video or audio that you already recorded, but you can also just press the record button and record something. In this case, I already recorded a bunch of stuff. And the cool thing is once you recorded it, it will sync automatically to your cloud into the Excellent account and you will have access to it right away. So the tool itself comes with preloaded presets from different creators, but you also have obviously your presets. So what I recorded in my phone ends up here. So let's try the one that we just listened to. I like this one, so again, I can use it. I can export it into my project and I can export the different stems if I want to. Now, another cool thing is if you want to record something in your DAW, you can put the DAW recorder plugin on your master. In this case, I put it in the control room, so it also picks up what I play in the media bay. So let's say that I'm just browsing sounds in the media bay. Uh, this is Nuendo 14, by the way, that just came out. I'll release a video about it later. Uh, but let's say I'm just browsing different perks. Let's write perks. All right. So now I can just go under the record button and click on use the last 30 seconds it will give me the last 30 seconds of sounds that I play inside of my DAW. I could have pressed play and let the session play what's in it. It would have captured it as well. But in this case, I just browse the media bay. So let's listen to it. So let's just select the audio and click OK. I can change the color, change the icon as well. In this case, it's just the audio. Let's press OK, use it now and see what it will give me. Let's browse the different patterns. These types of sweeteners are often what I'm looking for in my tracks. Now let's play again with the density a little bit. A bit more syncopation. Now let's export that into my project. Let's render it and export it as a WAV file. So as you can see, life is amazing because it allows you to capture really quickly. Let's say you're outside and you hear something fun. You can put out your phone, use the recording app, record something. It's maximum 15 seconds per recording and it will give you a loop that is really interesting and in my opinion is a big creativity booster. So I hope that you see the value there. I think it's an amazing tool. I will probably use it in a lot of my tracks. 
especially for adding some sweeteners or some funky rhythmic with some textured sound that we're not used to hearing. So it's great specifically for that in my case. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.